fecal transplant is, is basically uh, defined by taking stool from a healthy person and putting it into the gastrointestinal tract of a patient with a disease. Presently, that is, uh, is really only considered appropriate in, in patients who have a diagnosis of what's called recurrent Clostridium difficile infection. So essentially, these are patients who have had C. diff infection, usually because they've been exposed to some strain of Clostridium difficile. And then they are uh, usually given antibiotics for some appropriate reason, but that basically disrupts the bacterial composition and sort of balance in their, in their colon particularly, and this bad strain of C. diff therefore has the opportunity to grow, and it causes lots of terrible symptoms. So patients sometimes have recurrent episodes of this, so it can be treated with antibiotics, but if it unfortunately comes back, and each time it comes back, there's an increased risk that it may come back again and again. It still can be treated with antibiotics, but if the symptoms then can recur once you stop the antibiotics in many patients. It's now considered a, a uh, almost standard of care for these particular patients with recurrent C. diff is to have a stool transplant. Stool transplants are somewhere in the, on the area of 90% effective or even more if people have, if some, some patients need more than just one transplant. The world of microbiome is, ex is really exploding right now because we're understanding that there is this unbelievable amount in the, in the trillions upon trillions of bacteria that live in our gastrointestinal tract, let alone other areas of the body as well, and that this is a very, very complex system that really is important to our own health. So in the setting where patients have C. diff, there's been this terrible disruption of this really good bacterial balance we call the microbiome. So if there's such a terrible imbalance, by taking the stool from the healthy person who has a good, presumably good healthy balance of bacteria and putting it into this colon that has the unhealthy balance, it basically restores the balance. If the fecal transplant is so good in patients who have C. diff, well, what about other diseases? And so there are some that make very logical sense, and that being other diseases of the gastrointestinal tract. And then there are diseases outside the gastrointestinal tract that people think may have a a, uh, a component of the microbiome playing a role in that disease, and that if we can again restore that balance in a good way, that it would make those diseases better. So some of those, for instance, include inflammatory bowel disease, so it's Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, and that's probably the area that has the most research at the moment ongoing uh, in terms of whether a fecal transplant will be effective. And then there's other people who think that there may be some benefit in diseases that are outside the GI tract, like neurologic diseases, maybe even multiple sclerosis. And there may be improvement even in diabetes control by changing some of these bacterial balances.